48 here, sir. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, everybody. Come on in. Just letting everybody in the room. <laughs> this is so awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Happy Sunday. Hey, Yvette. Hey, Sharetta. Good to see you. So excited to see y'all. They coming on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cameras on, ladies, please. Cameras on. Come on in. We have a full house today. Hey, Kena. Hi, Ann. Hi, Laquel. Oh, <laughs> my camera's on, but I'm driving, so that's why I'm looking the other way. No worries. Please be safe. Hey, Aisha. Hi, Laquisha. Hey, welcome. Hey, Monica. Good morning. Good to see good. everybody. Good. Hey, Lottie. I'm saying good morning. I just took a nap. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> How are you? I am well. Thank you. Good, How are you? Good. Doing awesome. Just excited. Excited to pour. Got a lot to share with y'all. A lot coming down the pike. Just it's time. Good evening, nurses. Hey, Shelby. As uh, Emily. I know you by Emily. All right, y'all can put in the chat where you're from. You know, we're gonna do a little networking first. Um, I'll put the presentation up so you can see our agenda. This is a couple hours, two hour training y'all. So we will take some breaks in between. Um, there'll be two breaks. And um, of course, if you need to have a facilities break, we're all adults, so that's no worries. Uh, but I would get a pen and paper. Actually, let me give you all the link. It's going to have your 10 questions. Since it is a boot camp, I said, I got to give y'all some questions, right? <laughs> we got to make it challenging, right? So let me pull it, and um, hopefully you can access this via Google Drive. So get your Google ready, okay? So let me grab it. Okay, here it is. It's still coming in, so give us a couple moments while we get situated. Denise is coming in. Hey, everybody, welcome. Come on in. I'm just pulling down a Google Drive link that you can access your questions for today. Claude, do you know why my app? Mm hmm. Was that a question for me, or did someone on? their uh, speaker.
I can't hear you. I just did all that talking. <laughs> All right, so I'll start over. Um, thank you for sharing that, Lottie. Yeah, well, welcome, first of all. Let me start from the top. So excited to see y'all. Make sure your cameras are on. This is very interactive. We'll have two, I was saying two polls, two breaks, and one um, guest. <laughs> so we got a very interactive two hours. So I will uh, make sure that we don't go over. I want to be mindful of your time, but I want to make sure you get what you need. Um, it really is a great, great evening to, to be here. So I'm excited to have y'all. Thank y'all for sharing in the chat. Oh, I said there'll be one breakout room as well. So let's get started. Any questions first and foremost? Nope. I know I've been chatting with both of y'all like off and on for weeks. <laughs> uh, Monica, Ann, Laquel, uh, I think Lottie and I touched base at a, a networking event. So I'm just excited to see y'all. And I was saying also, this is about expanding our brand, the color of wellness, but partnering with, with you all who have LLCs, because I will be needing subcontractors as we grow. So I asked if you have a business already to drop a one in the chat, if you have an LLC. If you do not have an LLC, drop a two. All right, drop a two. So one, if you have one. That lets me know who we can bring on as vendors. Two, if you do not have an LLC, I do have someone who can help you walk through that process if you don't uh, to get you up and running if you decide to join us as one of our media nurses, okay? All right. Did y'all get the link in the chat with your questions? Like 10 questions on there. We'll cover them throughout the presentation. Feel free to stop me at any time if you have any questions, okay? And this is a video on, because I like to see who's in the room. Since this is such, such my little baby, y'all know I'm very protective of my little baby that we've been growing over the past two years. So I wanna make sure I'm giving this good information to good ground. All right, so I'm gonna pull down the presentation and we'll get started. It is opening up and I'm sharing my screen. All right, so welcome, welcome, welcome. It is officially certified media nurse time. I am Michelle Green Rose. So glad to have you all here. I am this. This has been a labor of love, <laughs> really. I want to say since March. So we'll get started because some of, some of you all I have had the pleasure of meeting and net, networking with, some of you all I haven't. So I don't want to jump right in like we know each other. Uh, officially, Michelle Green Roads, um, huh, Master of Health Science, <laughs> University of Central Florida. Gosh, I feel like it's about 20 years ago. Uh, registered nurse here in Florida, Tampa, Florida, past 25 years, Florida a and University. Uh, I'm the CEO of Michelle Rhodes Media LLC. And that's been where most of you all I've met over the past five years. That business um, was about nurse entrepreneurship and just sharing with nurses how to like compile their power, put it into a LLC, and then structure their own signature systems and courses and books. So that's probably how we met. But now we have launched two years ago um, my new LLC, which holds the Color Wellness um, magazine, which is now morphed into a media brand. So um, I will be needing vendors to come with me on this journey. I can't do it alone. Uh, also, I'm a CE uh, instructor throughout through the State Board of California, and I do allow um, some of my nurses, some of y'all have done this, uh, if you ever desire, desire to teach a CE course, you do have to have a uh, BSN. Uh, I have to review your materials, but also I do that as well. I teach and I allow other nurses to teach under my CE provider number. So just let me know. Um, and so, yeah, that has been my journey. Really, really uh, exciting journey. But I pivoted throughout COVID, um, as many of you may or may not know. And I turned that love for writing books 
into passion for magazines now. And then, then this magazine took off into a whole media brand because the companies that want to work with us is not just about the magazine anymore. Yes, that's great, but there's other things that we can do to support them and what they're trying to do and reaching our community. So I'm like the middle woman. Any questions at all, let me know. I know I talk fast and this is a lot of information. So please just stop me or congratulate me. <laughs> I'm just teasing. All right, so welcome. Based upon your application, you have been hand selected to be here. I am uh, uh, over the moon excited to have you here because I really, I went through all of them. Um, there were people who did not make it, just wasn't a good fit. But um, I just want to say congratulations to you all for making the cut and coming on into the Media Nurse Tribe. So our objectives, you know, we can't, you know, and especially with what we do, right? We have to have our objectives right up front. Um, these are just two, really. I wanted to make it simple. I wanted to make sure that we did expose you to the why, the when, and the what about media. And also, I want you to leave with the how, how it can help you either grow your personal brand, your professional growth, or if you choose to take advantage of the opportunity come on board and let's grow together, together. Two more people in the waiting room, y'all. <laughs> they missed the good stuff. All right, come on in, Sherry, have a seat. Come on in, come on in. Any questions, anyone? I feel like I should have let a couple of y'all just come on and introduce yourselves or something. So it's just not me talking the whole time. You know good? Okay. It keeps putting spotlight on you, Lottie. So I'm trusting you're going to get out of the way. <laughs> I don't know why Sherry's other line is not coming in, but she had two. All right, so let me pull up the poll. I told you all be two, we'll be having that should see pre, see, I've already caught myself. That should see pre-assessment, right? We're at the beginning of this presentation. Sherry, you have two lines here. Sherry, are you in? Yes, can you hear me? Okay, I can, yes. It okay. kept showing two and I kept clicking admit and it just wouldn't move either one of them. So oh okay, yeah. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> we literally yeah. just finished my introduction. I went through objectives and we're just about to take a quick um poll. I did send in the chat a G Drive link where you can walk through and write down answers as we go through the presentation. Okay. Yeah, so I was saying I caught a first error, so excuse that. Y'all know it should be pre-assessment because we are just starting the presentation. So there is a pre-assessment there. If you could please let me know, where are you with these two questions? Are you familiar with the various types of media? Because one thing I want to dispel, I think for me at least, when I first heard media, of course, we automatically think of TV, <laughs> but that's not what this is. I am not a TV media person, so I do want to put that out there up front. I can help you. I've been on TV, and I can help you do that, but it wasn't my intention to put every nurse on TV, um, and it definitely is needed, so not saying that it's not anything that you cannot do. Okay, I see you all. I see you. I see you. I am familiar with the various types of media. Most of you are saying, yes, I am. Just one person said, no, I'm not. Four, not sure. Second question, I'm aware of the opportunities for nurses to break into the media. Second question, yes or no. The majority of you saying yes. Five saying no and four saying they're unsure. 
All right. Has everyone answered? I assume that might be Sherry's last. Your other number, I see 18, but 17 people answer. So I just want to give you a quick moment to finish because we end it and it will close. Okay. And then we'll compare these same two questions at the end of the presentation. Okay. All right. Good to see. Good stuff. So uh, they should be. Sh Let me know if you can see the results. Can you all see the results? Yes. Okay. Good to see. It gives me a good idea where we are. So I will share just a little bit. I want to share, and I think we're going to go deeper into this in the presentation in the boot camp, just so that you all know I want to be clear that today we are going to go through various, like I mentioned, types of media. So you learn a little bit more about all of those types out there. Um, because I don't want you thinking it's just TV only. There's a lot more ways to disseminate information, right? And then also the various opportunities that are out there. One being the color wellness. That I think to me, of course, I might be a little biased that it's genius to have your own platform. So you don't have to pitch every platform. Now you can take what I take, teach you today and you can pitch to as many platforms as you'd like. But if we have a platform right here in our own backyard that we can work together with and not have to jump the hoops that are out there. So that's one big benefit of having your own media platform. All right, so why media? We have to always start with definitions and statistics, right? I believe that's just a part of speaking and nursing. <laughs> so I dug through a couple of studies and I'll share them today. They're actually on your, in the Google link that you uh, opened up. Did everyone get to open up their link? It's a 10 question, pretty much some questions that we're gonna go through as we present. And I did put the links right along with them so that you can go back and look at those studies. I mean, of course, when we're, boiling down this, this, this information that, you know, we're going to review the whole study, but just took a little snippet of it and give you the link so you can go back and read the whole thing. But of course, we know that media plays a very important role in our lives. And so my job, and my thought process is to how is it affecting health education? We always hear about Dr. Google, right? <laughs> Did y'all know Dr. Google is a thing? Do y'all see what this say on the screen? 76% of internet phone users reported using the internet on their mobile phone to search for information regarding their health. Dr. Google is real because he was number one in this study. Most of them went to Google. Number two, Facebook. A lot of us met on Facebook. People are searching for companies and information on Facebook. Then lastly, YouTube, which is actually a uh, child of uh, Google, so they work together, they go to YouTube and look for health information. How reliable is this? How safe is this? Why is this a problem? I believe this is actually, let me move this. Uh, I can't even see my own notes because of the chat. Anybody want to talk about this? Like this just stopped me in my tracks. <laughs> 76%. I actually could be higher, right? Can someone, just one person, let's chat about this real quick. Did anybody start off? I'm not startled. Not startled? No, I work Why? in the hospital. And a lot of times we talk to patients, they don't believe us. I tell them, just go to WebMD. That's your doctor anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then That's your real doctor. Web, yeah, once WebMD confirms it, then they come back. Oh, then it's real, right? Then it's real. Wow. So okay. yeah, non-medical people, they definitely believe what social media and the internet says. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I just wanted to, you know, I can't, I can't say that I was surprised because we hear about Dr. Google. I think we do tease about that. But when the numbers show and then it just kind of hits home, like, wow, that is the majority, right? Over half of the people. There's no research to back it up. Sharetta says she agrees. Oh, that's the word right there, misinformation. Who said that? Yeah, we still have to be careful with social media. You're right. Um, There's a lot Monica. of fake, fake news out there. Oh, my goodness. 
Okay, so we know it's a problem, right? Who better to solve this problem? Like, this is how I think. This is how I think. Like, why aren't we disseminating the information that we're already teaching, right? Isn't that a part of our job? Don't get me started. I get very excited, y'all. So just excuse me. I'm not being, you know, I'm just being passionate. Like, why not us? They're already doing it. They're paying us to do it because we have to spend that time. We got to make sure they sign off on the discharge orders. They understand their medication uh, and how it's going to be taken. Like, why aren't we the ones out here teaching and sharing Although I think, you know, Dr. Google and William D, they, they see this, they see it. And so this is their solution. But we know they, of course, have medical editors. Don't get me wrong. I write for good RX for all of y'all who don't know. And all my stuff has to go through a physician for review. So I get it. But the majority of the information out there is not uh, peer reviewed, right? It's not evidence-based. It's just people sharing their thoughts and opinions. And I think that is where I wanted to say if you all trust us like you do we've been the most trusted profession we already know that right for the past 20 years or more <laughs> at this point why aren't we on the front line sharing this information why can't we be the 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 front lines in a, in a different way right not only for the patients but for nurses as well especially the newer nurses absolutely tiffany for sure, um, that's a whole, you know, a whole conversation in itself, right? The new nurses needing mentorship and needing that guidance. Uh, I know a lot of you on this call do mentorship, which will be critical and where we're headed with this, with uh, the Color Wellness Magazine and you all being our eyes and ears and boots on the ground. Well, I believe we'll have some room for that. Um, and if you're interested in that, let me know. All right, so I wanted to share that with you as the beat, the baseline as to why I'm so passionate about this and where I saw a gap. Now, of course, for all of you who don't know, the real story behind the color wellness is, yes, I was sitting at my desk at work at home. I've been working my own business, like I said, since 2016. And we saw, you know, the height of COVID, nurses in garbage bags and, and all of the things that were going on with COVID. And also what hit home was the, the fact that African-Americans were dying at three times the rate of any other race. And that's when I had this download. I feel, I feel like it was a divine download because at that time I was writing just books and you know, self-help books, motivational books, telling our story type of books and helping nurses self-publish those books as well. But I felt like the Lord said, you know, use what you have and help the people. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, use what you have. Use your managed care experience, which is, we all know about that. But also combine it with your love for writing. Because I found myself, although I was doing speaking, coaching, writing, writing was just the thing that I really, really enjoyed the most. And so I pivoted a little bit and moved it into a magazine. So that's how it really was born. But I wanted to share with you the statistics that make me also kind of stop at my tracks. All right. Divine download. Yes, Yvette. Yes, it absolutely was. It definitely was not anything. I mean, I had had those thoughts of a magazine, but I had no idea. Now, how I learned about magazine, that's a whole, you know, another good divine download <laughs> that the person was sent to me to share, to share with me how to run a magazine, but only, you know, because of that, is that why we're here today? So, so the first question on your sheet should be, why are these categories of media so impactful? So the, the categories, I know this is going to get a little confusing, but big three categories are print media, mass media, which can include TV, can include radio, that's the masses, and then internet media. Those are the big, broad categories. So my question to you, you can add what you'd like into the chat. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to have one person come on and chat about, we can do this as we go through the questions. Um, but let's see, why, is the, why are these categories so impactful? And then our next um, slide, we'll talk about the types that go underneath these categories, okay? All right, so why don't journalists outreach? <sighs> yeah. Hard to see your question, Emily, to us as nurses to communicate health info on the news. You know, most times I do see physicians on the news. I don't know about your area. There's very few areas that I've seen. I've seen a few on the internet that are nurses, but I do, from my area, 
most times when there's a health segment, they do bring on a physician. These categories have the ability to reach the masses. Absolutely, you bet. And that's why they're so powerful. So there's a um, ton of types of media underneath these categories. They are impactful, impactful because it is easy to access info whether the information is accurate or not. So you're just reaching many, many people in a broad, broad way. So there's a huge potential for impact here. So I just want you to start with this big picture to see, wow, whether the information is true or not, just like Tiffany said, the information is getting out there. So this is where we start. All right. So underneath those categories, there are types or forms. So we call them paid, uh, we call them earned, we call them owned media, and we call them shared media. And I'll go through those real quick so you can understand. Now we're boiling down to what's underneath that. Um, paid, of course, is usually an advertisement where someone's paid to be seen. And it could be on those uh, outlets, those categories, which were you know, on mass media, on the radio, on TV, on the internet. So we see tons of pay, paid ads, right? So that's um, one way. Then earned publicity is another word for it, where most people, most people have a publicity person, a publicist, um, public relations. However, some people can drum up publicity without the help of a, a, a PR person, right? They it can be positive, it can be negative publicity. But nonetheless, they say that all publicity is good publicity. I don't know if you agree with that or not. Broadcasting and social media. Shelby Wolf a study performed 20 years ago, found it repeated. Uh, repeat if you use okay access understanding of our range of education and roles are totally they prefer an MD absolutely internet is king could you believe that yep absolutely and we're going to talk about why the internet is now king because it's coming right to mobile phones <laughs> which is why we're building a color wellness app all right, so there's so much to unpack here. I, do y'all want to take a break and just talk about this? I just, I'm just overflowing. Like I want to just, ah, <laughs> just scream because it's so much. It's so rich, so rich um, with information and opportunity. I'm not going to say that enough. So much opportunity here. Um, and yes, we are very much overlooked for these opportunities. Wendy says, keep it coming. <laughs> All right, keep going. All right, so your next question, I hope you all are doing your questions. I think I zoomed through number two, which was uh, what comes to mind when you hear media. But the categories are print, broadcast, um, which was mass media and the internet. We talked about that, internet was king. And it's only because of the mobile phones now. But number three, if you, had the opportunity. So you did get a call from a journalist. And a lot of times, of course, they are newsjacking, they are going along with what's being talked about right now. So a lot of times it's not just your everyday health and wellness segment. There has usually something going on. Of course, we've seen pandemic, we've seen monkey pops, and well, I don't even know what's going on right now. Is there anything going on right now that comes to mind? What's the first headline that comes to mind when it comes to health, like right now? I know we are dealing with disaster uh, relief, which can affect health. Uh, there was an article about sewage and staying away from standing water here. So all of these things um, are very important. Cyber attacks. Every day we seem to hear this, right, Aisha? I know that's your lane. And let me just say, Aisha already grabbed her seat. <laughs> so y'all down to seven seats. I can only take eight of y'all and Aisha says, give me my seat. So y'all, there's seven of, of y'all. So if you want the link now, let me know. Mental health, we hear about that every day. Food disparities, every day because the cost of food, right? The cost of food, inflation is so high. People are not able to purchase as much. <laughs> Social determinants of health. Yes, Kina, 
Yes. Well, I see that every day on Twitter. So that's really where I go to get my social determinants fix. <laughs> I don't know how I got into this Twitter chat and they just re like to retweet all my stuff and I retweet their stuff. Like we got a whole family and I don't even know these people. Health disparity, suicide. Oh, yes. Ah, it's so rampant right now. And so employers, um, even the everyday person, they're trying to figure out how to cope. They're trying to figure out how to make it right now because it's inflation talk, this, this recession talk has everyone stressed out, right? It is a thing. So there's so, look at all these stories that we could be sharing with the world. Look at all these stories we could be sharing with the world. So would you be ready if you got the call to talk about one of these topics? Would you be ready? Would you be prepared to talk about this at the drop of a hat? That's another, and we're gonna talk about that in a moment. Oh yes, fentanyl and, oh my goodness. It's a epidemic, right? Um, oh yeah, let me calm down. So much, so much going on. So my point here is they need us. Look at all of these things. Now, of course, you have to be ready. And this is what I'm going to talk about in a moment, because a lot of times when you do form these relationships with journalists, they will call you or text you sometimes four in the morning. Can you be ready for a five o'clock spot or six o'clock? So there is a, a, a what's the word? You will need to be just flexible if you are looking to do this type of, of um, commentating with the, your local news. Returning to the workplace. Yeah. That's Michelle. A big yes, ma'am. Um, can I ask really quick? I, I have a concern about that. You said that we have to be ready. Mm -hmm. Um. Do we have to be ready worldwide versus locally? Because I wish not to travel. I wish to stay local. So what are your thoughts on that? If we if we come into this space, do we have to be available worldwide at any time? Or can we no, set our answer. or can we set our can we set mm -hmm. our boundaries and just say, hey. Yeah, of course, of okay. course. You can always set your boundaries for sure. So let's just say that right away. You have the option to say no at any time. You don't have to do it. But what, although I mentioned earlier, the goal wasn't TV here, although I will teach it as a part of our coaching program. Uh, if you are wanting to do that, then what you do is develop a relationship with your local station, the one that you want to be featured on. So you do pitch them these stories and you let them know you're available. You can tell them your availability. You can tell them that in a couple of weeks, it's going to be, what is this, October? Of course, you know, Halloween. So we can talk about candy safety or sugar, just for an example. Um, you can go ahead and tell them, you know, in, in uh, November, I know we look at Diabetes Awareness Month, um, Will you be able to use this story or let's consider implement? So my point is you can pitch as who you want, be very specific about the stories you want. And so that's why I asked you, would you be ready to talk about these topics that you dropped in the chat? Because you have to be the expert on them, of course. So they're going to ask you questions and you can share the questions you'd like to answer as well. So that helps. But to answer your question, no, you don't have to be international because we are not going there yet personally for color wellness. But if you, you decide to do this on your own, then yes, you can pitch your local, let them know what you like to speak on and why it's important for their listeners to learn this. And does that answer your question? Emily? Yes, Michelle, thank you. Okay, good, you're welcome. And let me put this on presentation view. I feel like it's, okay, perfect. All right, so nurses attempting to begin in the media, is another typo, excuse me, I'm correcting my own self. I get so fast. Nurses are ready to launch their legacy. Someone put that on their application about their legacy. Um, 
that's why they wanted to do this. And that's like talking my language. <laughs> I love that word. It's one of my branding words. Uh, we have skills for business. Most of us do. And I um, thank you all for putting your one in the chat. If you came late, if you already have an LLC, put your one in the chat. If you do not have an LLC, put your two in the chat so that I'll know who needs to work with um, my team because I'm not doing startups anymore, but I do have someone on my team who is doing them. And yeah, I'm excited to have that as well. We love to help others. So again, this is a way of helping and giving back. We are trying to figure out business on our own sometimes. And so, yes, I'm gonna share this with you. I think it will help you expand your business and give you an opportunity in your business. And uh, as well, if you'd like to partner with Color Bonus Magazine, that you can take this as well, kind of have a business in a box. I'm leading the way, cutting down your learning curve and helping you get out there. Nurses want to learn what it takes to get paid. I know y'all want to put an amen in the chat for that one. <laughs> and little do we know, I mean, think about it. We're so used to, you know, hourly work, salary work, you know, knowing, you know, how to get paid based on one thing. You do one transaction, you get paid for another, right? You get paid for it. Where with this, it's almost multiplying that, saying I can do this one time and either you can, um, there's so many ways to get monetized, but basically you can share that video or license that video or um, get sponsored for a podcast. And so there are things you can do, get paid over and over again by doing something one time. And then also nurses want to walk in purpose and fulfillment, which I feel like I finally arrived there. Anybody else like been searching for you feel like you found purpose and then like, oh, well, is this really it? <laughs> Let me go a little further. Let me go a little further. Maybe there's more to this. So, you know, I do think there has to be purpose behind the work that you do. I do ask that this be a purpose thing, purpose driven thing for you. Um, not just about being seen, not just about money. I think I've been through that phase and now it's finally this true purpose has me in a whole nother world, a whole nother lane. So if you can relate to that, let me know. <laughs> Ebony said, amen. Yes, yes. Amen in the chat. I love it. I, um, oh. I, I would like to share something. Uh, really yes. quick. It, it's definitely for purpose, but um, the, the media, because I'm with CDCF right now, mm -hmm. and their media department is so overwhelmed. Mm. They are needing help. The uh, the public is asking for them to put like uh, videos to help to help the layman's person understand what's going on with all of the um, viruses and conditions. But they just don't have the time and they don't have the manpower to do it. So if us, us nurses can come in and to relate that information, I mean, I'm sure we would get hired right, right away. So that's the urgency. That's the need mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. companies are needing. They they just do not have the manpower. Social media is just so so um, so overwhelmed. They need the help. So this would be great. This is perfect timing, uh, Michelle, for your um, for your program. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Um, I know you've been following for a while, so I appreciate you being here, and I thank you for sharing that because it's true. And it was only because, like, again, I learning this, going forth, researching this, I do have a coach that's helping me learn about journalism. I feel like a journalist now. I was like, are you still a nurse? I'm like, yes, I'm still a nurse. They asked me that. But it's so important for me to learn, to me, journalism. How do we spread the word? How do we spread good messaging? How do we spell, excuse me, um, send this out to the world? Sorry, y'all, keep getting... Um, access requests. <laughs> They're still coming in. All right. So yes, I definitely agree with you. And we know this. And that's why I had you all ask those, those questions, answer those questions, because I wanted you to see that. Look at all of those topics we talked about. Look at all of the topics that we just know, just noted. And that was in the, you know, in the course of two minutes. 
But could you imagine them as a newsroom, as a journalist, say the full-time journalist, because we don't want to be a full-time journalist. That's not, that's not what we're going to do. But what we are going to do is support that journalist. We're going to support their initiatives. We're going to support their news stories and give them, quote unquote, good information, evidence-based information. And that part they don't have. So I completely agree with you. Anybody else about that part? Why good information is so important right now? Why nurses need to be in the journalist's back pocket? why we need to be in prepared for this role. I would love to hear from one more person. Hi, Michelle, can you hear me? Yes, yes. I, sorry, I'm, I'm in the car and my stand is not cooperating, so I'm gonna keep my camera off, but I think somebody already um, alluded to misinformation and disinformation, you know, people are dying um, you know, or injuring themselves because of what they're seeing on social media. Uh, and I think it's important that we are sharing the message on how to um, make sure that information that is being shared is credible. So that's one of the biggest things that when I'm training my community health workers and other public health professionals that I'm working with is making sure they understand, are you looking at, you know, the, the source authority? Are you looking at the credibility? Are you looking at, is it even current? Is it biased? And so we have a lot of both implicit and explicit bias, especially when it gets time to elections and, um, oh, yeah. you know, a lot that goes on, oh, Lord, uh, with politics. And so I think that right now we're needed to really dispel misinformation and prevent disinformation because it is a public health emergency. Absolutely. Hmm. Wow. Thank you for that. So powerful. Yeah, that's where we are now. I mean, in the midst of all of the things we've talked about, pandemic, we've talked about fentanyl, oh my goodness, we've talked about suicide, mental health, people are burned out. We were trying to go back to work and kind of resume a normalcy when it still doesn't feel like things are normal. All of these things, so if we're feeling that way as nurses, especially even with healthcare, you bet say healthcare is pivoting. That's true. We've seen health, we've seen hospitals closing. I'm sure the people in those areas want to know, wow, what do I do now? Where do I go for care? What should I think about uh, since I don't have access to this hospital anymore? What are the things I should be thinking about? I think that story called for a nurse. Do y'all see these hospitals closing like right and left? Yeah, if not the hospitals, a lot of the departments sure have, have closed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my point is, if we're feeling this way, then we know that the public is feeling this way. And that's why I think we are slated to be in a prime position to help support, oh, three hospitals in Pennsylvania. Wow, Sharetta. Units are closing. Beakers is always reporting. Um, yes, he is. <laughs> staffing shortage. Oh, goodness. We can talk about staffing shortage all day. Okay, so I think we got the point there. I really just wanted to drive home the importance of what we do, going the wrong way, why we do it, and can I please go the right way? Why now? That shouldn't be a two, but your next question on your sheet. Welcome to everyone. I think a couple more people came on in the room. Just check the chat, introduce yourselves. This is a very lively discussion. So welcome. You have been accepted to come into this boot camp. I was really selective about who I wanted to share this information with. So, so proud you can make it. Um, there is a Google link uh, somewhere in the chat. <laughs> I'll have to see if I can pull it again uh, or someone can cut and paste it. Oh, here it is. I'll put it in there again. So there are questions that you are charged to work and think about and write your answers on about because I really want you to, to pull this information on and take it back with you. All right, so nurses, a lot of us have started to working on our own personal brand. We're ready to grow. We want more. We want to have that personal and professional development, right? We are ready to take the next step. We love to take on a challenge. That's why I gave you those questions. I was like, I know they want questions. So <laughs> let's write out some questions as we go. And um, we're tired. We want something different. Again, we can't, I can't say enough about this pivot that healthcare is, is taking. Um, we've just seen so much happen. And I think we have to be ready personally. This is about a personal development, everyone. Um, we don't want to have to focus on time. We want to uh, oh, excuse me, don't want to have to have the time to focus on marketing. That's if you have your own business. I hear that a lot with nurses who are already in business. A lot of times we're doing many things. We're wearing many hats. 
Are you really marketing your business like you should? Do you have time for that? I would love to hear your answers on that in the chat. And I think we want to try. We want to be around, although we do different things, we just want to feel the same energy here. I would love to have this media tribe join us. So if any of these resonate with you, let me know. So no, Sherry says, I don't have time. We don't have time, right? We're trying to do all the things, which is why I want to help you. I really am excited about this new opportunity. No time. Who has time for all that, man? <laughs> Did you just want us to um, yell out something, Coach Michelle? Um, yeah, you, most people are putting it in the chat, but if you want to okay. chat, if you all, any, this is a very fluid conversation. I'm open to just jumping on real quick and we can just talk through it. Did you have a comment I want to hear? Going once, going twice. Uh -huh. Marketing is very important. I have delegated a lot of tasks out to make time. I'm marketing myself for your website. It's very consuming. It is. All right, so when so we've talked about the why we've talked about what media looks like the landscape of media we've talked about the opportunities the topics that we need they need us for and i feel like they just either don't know how to connect with us or i'm still i'm still going to say this i may be wrong like i told you all in my area most times it's a physician that that does the health segments here in tampa now i do know of some nurses who have slated slots on news um, channels in different areas but i believe that perception of nurses is still a problem i still believe that and so um Yes, we want, you know, the physician or the caretaker, they are the provider to give that information, but I believe nurses bring a different type of information. It's that, <laughs> that caring, that sharing that we are just groomed to do. Um, so it's, I do think they are missing out on that piece. And so, you know, a child, the part of that is what I'm trying to say is that the perception of nurses, okay, well, we are not gonna, you know, take the nurse, let's have the physician come on. Um, that I want to show that we have value. We have a different type of value. We are a part of the team, but there's still a different piece that we bring. In uh, our stories, will be different. We'll feel different, and so we are still needed. And please bring us on as a part of that team. I really believe that. And again, by forging this, these teams, I'm looking to build out uh, eight teams with you all in different cities, I believe we can come together and forge this brand to be seen in that way. And we will be the go-to for this, this, type of, um, this type of information to be received. That's the goal. So how does your service get involved in marketing our business? All right, we'll talk about that because what you're gonna do in a very brief moment, we'll talk about all of that. But um, because you're helping me share the color of wellness, then your brain is going to be shared along with that. For anyone who's worked with me knows I'm very sharing and you're going to be able to share who you represent, share your website, share your opportunities. So it's gonna give you a, a bigger platform to share. Especially when we do community events. That's why we talked about community events in the chat. Did y'all enjoy the chat with Coach Ebony? Y'all drop a little smiley face in the chat. If you all who I know some of y'all didn't get to do the pre-chat, but we had pre-chat time and Coach Ebony was our concierge. So thank you, Ebony, for going um, and rocking that out. Yvette says we're going to expand to Latino. Yes, ma'am. And that's the beauty of this, right? We expand to Latino community. And my heart even wants to, to expand into Native American community eventually. So we're so much, just so rich, so many opportunities here that we can do and work together to elevate each other. That's really what it is. But we've got to be seen. And I think until we do this, we are going to be overlooked. So I do think that perception does have to change. See, I see you look at Lakel. She says, we have to change the perception and value of the nurse. Like, 
there was even an article. I'll see if I can find it about, you know, <laughs> not just paying the nurse. Yes, paying, we think of value as paying us what we're worth. But I think even more so, it's that perception because I don't want you to pay me just because you have to pay me. I want you to see me and value me as well. Any questions y'all wanna come through this? Sorry, because I know this is, this is a heavy piece right here that we're talking about. Mm. Anybody wanna talk about the perception of nursing with me? Mm -hmm. So important. That's right. Sharada says respect everything I have to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. Well, I, I, I mean, I, I wrote this in the chat. It's Emily. I wrote this in the chat, but I mean, we, we are known to be the number one profession, the number one trustworthy profession. So if we are trustworthy mm -hmm. at that side, then why can't we be trustworthy in media? And, in <coughs> and I mm -hmm. guess it goes back because I think Ann had, had uh, wrote that it goes back to, you know, the position that was uh, a male, um, you know, a male profession. And so now we, we're trying to um, shift. We are trying to make that shift right now. Mm -hmm. So I do understand that. But I mean, I just, to me is if we were trustworthy at the bedside, how can we can, why can't we be trustworthy elsewhere? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think um, we're trustworthy at the bedside and um, we're a trusted profession, but you better stay in your lane and you better stay in the box. It's kind of like um, just dealing and having relationships with, um, you know, just people, how they look at nurses and nurses as an entrepreneur, <clears throat> excuse me, in educating the community. It's okay if you do it at the bedside, but you better stay in your lane, kind of, sort of. Mm-hmm. I have a comment also. I'm gonna show my face. I'm I'm just saying because people probably think I'm crazy. But I, I would just say the perception of nurses is also important for those of us that are trying to establish ourselves as consultants and as experts. So although I lean more or call myself and refer myself more as a public health consultant than I do nurse consultant, but I think that we have to start establishing ourselves with that type of thought leadership. And for me, media brings that thought leadership. And like you said, you say, we got to get seen, right? And so for me, I think we got to change that perception if we want to be looked at as experts. And now I'm going to stop talking to people looking at me crazy. Yeah, just to, um, just to add on what the beautiful lady said before, that I think they are used to our roles at the bedside. But like she said, if we start to step out into, they're not accustomed to us being entrepreneurs or you know, being on different types of platforms and media, but if we make that the norm, then we'll be trusted in those areas as well. And to piggyback, excuse me, off what you said as well, but well, we're in a space right now. Um, thank you, Michelle, for having this platform. We're not asking any anymore. We're just, we're, yeah, we're taking our position. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is all why I put those you know, the, the reasons why we're ready, you know, there's so many changes going on, there's so many limitations as well. And so we are ready for more. And Jacqueline has a great question in the chat, which leads into roles and readiness. She says, do you feel we need to have a physician backing us in order to open up more opportunities for, is that businesses? I'm not sure if that is yeah. for, yeah. okay, businesses as experts in given areas of health. So this is a very great question because of course, you know, we have to stay within our scope. And I do put in the front of the magazine every month that this is not to be interpreted as medical advice. Please consult with your physician, all the disclaimers, right? Um, and I'm very, very strategic when everything we post is about wellness. If you notice, I don't really go a lot into health. We try to focus more on the wellness piece just because in that space, we can move freely. Um, I will have um, a, uh, she's, is a DMP, but she is in Florida that has um, uh, full authority come on as our, now that we're growing, because I think at first I was just trying to see if this was needed, if, if we were going to keep pushing with this brand, if we were going to keep growing. Now that we are, yes, I do need to bring that on. It was just initially like, okay, where are we going to, you know, head with this? 
But if we're going to grow and try to make this sort of impact, of course, now you're going to have all mm -hmm. eyes on us. So we do have to have that in place for, for legal reasons. So I want to be sure. Yeah, for sure. So we'll have her initially, and then I'll be on the search, or if you know of anyone, I'll talk to them. But it will be, and I've already got one person is in my inbox on LinkedIn about that. Like, you need a physician to help you. Uh, now, mm -hmm. she's an OBGYN, doesn't matter. But that's where we're headed, for sure. I think, like I said, the first two years was, to me, a beta test. We're looking to see what the call of wellness is going to be. What was this, you know, going to grow into, or was I eventually going to let it go? Because the print was so expensive, I've had to stop the print. And then at one point, I was thinking, do I just stop this altogether? And I just felt like God was saying, no, that you just don't print, <laughs> not right now. Now it's print on demand, so the companies that want print, they can pay for it, uh, but it won't be the subscrip subscription model. We're moving to an advertising model, so. Hope all that helps. That's a brief, brief glimpse into where we're headed. But yes, we will be bringing on um, a physician to review all of our information. Um, and then we're moving more. Because mm -hmm. initially, too, uh, some of the contributors are on here, they can speak to this. We, again, were more focused on wellness. I really wanted it to be a... Um, a layman's type of read, a very basic read, just really for the general everyday person to <laughs> learn from. Um, and now we're moving more. If we're going to do this, I have to move it into not just that. We are, you know, being more strict about our sightings and um, <laughs> the, even the photos. I can't use any of these photos anymore. So it's just tightening up on every area if we're going to move, like we're going to be moving now that we're going to have eight of you all come on and join us and build teams out in your respective cities. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Did that help? That was a great question, Jacqueline. Did that help though? I know you were talking more about, you know, being seen as a consultant or businesses. I, we didn't really talk about that piece. Respect the uh, nurse. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's yeah. okay. Because I know you you said in your application you've been speaking and doing this. So uh, tell me a little bit more about that. I respect the nurse more. If the... She's trying to <laughs> catch up on the comments. That's yeah. okay. Here, I would love to hear from you. I want to hear your... Um, a little bit about you and your journey because I know you have been doing this media piece for a while. So I'm excited to have you here. I respect the nurse more of the content. Yes. Yeah. So real quick, we'll read through this and then we'll talk to Jacqueline. But again, we are burned out. We're frustrated. We're hit some glass ceilings. Hostile workplace. We didn't even talk about that. That's what really was a piece of moved me out of my job. <laughs> the hostility, hostile workplace. And I was like, okay, I can do this on my own at this point. Okay. Um, place violence. We haven't talked about that. We have nurses being hit, stomped, abused, kicked. Like it's crazy. Um, the, the level of disrespect. So now nurses are really like, I'm not paid enough for this. And that again, I believe plays into that perception. And I want another piece of the mission of the color wellness to be respect us. Um, lack of mentoring and lack of empathy. Can I just add something? Um, you just said something about how um, nurses are kind of like the hostile work environment. But I think now that nurses are actually seeing their value because mm -hmm. they're seeing a lot of kind of the collapse of healthcare systems. They're seeing how much organizations are willing to pay. So now it's just like, wow, we are actually valuable to these organizations. How can we step out of that and monetize or leverage those skills? Yeah, so is that last part of question for me or are you saying they're questioning themselves? They're starting to like ask themselves that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think it opened up a lot of our eyes, right? To say, what have I been doing all this time? Or why wasn't I compensated appropriately? And so we did have those questions. And so I think it's time for us. And, you know, like I think this plays into what Yvette said about healthcare pivoting. So that's just one piece of it. We know that 
staffing is a piece. We know that salary is a piece, uh, but we also know that I believe the level of respect or disrespect is a piece from both you know, management and from patients. Uh, and then the ability to grow, the ability to thrive. I believe y'all know I'm love. I am all about innovation. I like to think outside of the box. Wendy says I'm lighting the way. So whatever I do is always going to be kind of different. I'm going to go, if everybody's going right, I'm going left. That's just how my mind right. I, I need my own space. I need, even on the dance floor, I want all the space. Move out the way. I need the dance. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> that's just how I am so yeah I do believe that all of that plays a role and so that is again why we're here and why we do have to carry these messages but it has to be a full message it's not just one piece of it I do sal think salary plays a piece but there's so much more to the whole scope of what's going on right now hi hi oh, okay I didn't realize that my microphone was on all this time so <laughs> anyway <laughs> forgive yeah, me welcome we're so glad to have you here um i just wanted to say i think that um one of the best ways to get respect and appreciation in the media is um if if you can use the tagline you know that all the information that's presented is research based doesn't mean that it has to be presented like a research paper but i think that is one of the richest ways to get respect when you're you're presenting to uh the public or even if you're presenting to a group of physicians or uh mm -hmm. TV media yes yes Absolutely. And that's why I said we're we're making that pivot within our brand just because initially it was just a different focus. It was really geared towards the lay person and not I didn't want that evidence. I, I'm excuse me, I'm not gonna say evidence-based. We know it was evidence-based, but being mm -hmm. able to, to cite that, but I wanted it to be an easy read. I wanted the person to feel like, okay, I can take this information and apply it. I, I always felt like we were so busy producing, you know, researchers, but then I don't see the research being implemented. So I wanted to be a brand that people could turn to to say they get stuff done. They implement what we've researched and not just let it sit on the shelf. So I get it. And so we are really moving the needle so we can put more of that on each and every article. So that will be a new change for our 2023 contributors, uh, but also, you know, making it read Mm -hmm. where, like you said, not like a research paper, because that's what I didn't want. We have journals right. already. And so the color wellness was not never meant to be a journal. That's wonderful because um, I, I'm participating um, in a program where they're trying to bring uh, mindfulness into um, how women, um, especially African-American women with breast cancer, um, can use mindfulness to help them get through their challenges. And what I found interesting is that uh, two different groups came together and after being separate, one group was designed to be uh, trainers and the other group was designed to do the research. Mm -hmm. So that, that way um, the trainers could concentrate on presenting the material um, in layman's terms, if you will, but the research would be there because some people are really into, you know, just the facts and, and what's proven and other people are into getting the message out, which is which what I heard you saying was definitely your initial um, approach to, to the challenge of nurses being in the media. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And it also plays into what Wendy just said about knowing our audience. Our audience initially was, and it's, there's so many, it's so rich. So let me just say that there's so many layers to this because our subscribers are nurses, but then the nurses either take it home and share it with their families, they share it with their communities. I have nurses that are putting it inside their practices. So then the um, information is passed to the community, right? 
uh, which is our goal, was our first goal. But now I know I've learned that I have to set like three types of goals because we have three types of people reading the 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 publication. We have healthcare professionals, we have the general public, uh, and then we have the scholarly level and people who are mm-hmm. like really kind of watching us with a close eye type of person. So. Mm-hmm. Now I have to make sure all of that is captured. And so we'll be pivoting to to capture mm-hmm. all of that in our writing. So yeah, kudos to you catching that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Love this program so far. I wasn't able to get, get in at the beginning, but uh, this is yeah. fun. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to talk about this uh, question, this this statement that Ann said, and then we'll move forward. I think we were really close to our first break. So we have a, two polls. We did a pre-assessment. We'll do a post-assessment at the end. We'll have a breakout room and then we'll have a break. So she mentioned that us as nurses and Dr. Ann, I don't know if you want to, I know she's, <laughs> she's a wealth of information. We really connected on LinkedIn and just really supported one another. I appreciate her just seeing the call of wellness for what we do. Uh, and so as a nurse leader, a nurse, nurse executive, she says we're part of the room and board charges, <laughs> you know? So that's another thing that makes us kind of seen in a different way. This is a part of room and board. So I don't know if you want to talk about Dr. Ann. Y'all people are taking this link. Yeah, thanks, Michelle. You know, I, I think this has been a, an ongoing struggle for years is to how to accurately um, charge for our services, um, similar to what a what a hospitalist might charge, et cetera. Those are all itemized fees uh, according to the schedule. So when a patient opens up their um, hospital bill, they'll see that um, they have the various charges for the different disciplines. Nursing happens to fall under room and board. Um, so when we really talk about the value of nurses, and this goes back years and years, trying to um, break out and justify why we should be paid that hourly wage and have that show up as well um, on the patient's ledger, it just has never um, gotten legs to be able to do so. So when you really think about some of the barriers that are created specific to nurses, um, and you know not just to pay, but to you know, other access to resources, et cetera, um, you know, it really, it really resonates. And I think that when you say when now, now is the time because we have power um, in the masses and it's exceedingly important that we speak with a unified voice um, yes. and that we leverage the power that we do bring to the table. There are millions of us, so we should be out there out in front, please. Wow, 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 wow. Y'all see why I'm floored? Y'all see why I'm just so gung-ho about this? This is exactly my sentiment. Um, flash, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what you said in the chat. I couldn't agree more, and Yvette says, I think we all can agree. So again, uh, with the mission of the color wellness, again, that even the mission is so multifaceted now, initially, and it still is the core we were birthed to be that bridge for a better Black wellness for Black families just because of the health disparities. That's still going to always be our main uh, goal. That's going to be our mission. However, with that, there's again now layers that are coming forward. And one of them she mentioned, you know, the unified voice coming together in numbers now. Right now, our capacity for teams will be eight. I'm expanding from Tampa, which is Tampa as our hub, but I now want to grow this. I have to duplicate myself. I can't do it all. So that's why we're opening up this program to train the nurses who want to come along with us in media so that you're ready. So you have your messaging ready. So you're ready in all of the areas that we serve and we connect with brands on. But as you do that, you will be, once you're ready, um, I have a compensation way that you can make money because we all know that money is the language. But also we now can build those teams. We can forge in a bigger way. We can go forward uh, bigger and stronger. So we're moving forward in, in a movement. If you guys see what I post, it's like join the movement because now I'm turning this into a movement. This is not just a magazine anymore. The magazine is just the entry point. 
because so many companies and organizations are starting to see what we're doing and want to work with us, but I need you all to come with me, but you got to be ready. So I do wow. have a yes. I did have a question as it relates, and you, this may be premature because you might be getting to this as it relates to building these specific teams. Is that for doing commentating on these media platforms we're building teams, or what exactly would we be doing in our area yes. to build teams and? Yes, yes, yes. What does that include? So, yeah, it's, it's definitely coming because it's like I said, so rich, so much information. So, but in a quick way, the the bigger piece of it, this will be our events team because I need you all in the community. So I'll be sharing and teaching you how to run a community event. So that's going to be the biggest piece. So I would say probably 50% of what you all do as a media nurse is going to be bringing your communities together so they can see you and get behind the brand. We already have our writing team ready. We have our video team ready. We have our audio team ready. So now I need an events team. I need boots on the ground. However, because of this program that I've created, it's a whole year, you're going to learn audio. You're going to learn video. You're going to learn um, the writing piece so that you can be on the secondary team, like a second tier. If for some reason I don't have enough writers, or I don't have enough articles, or I don't have, I need a podcast guest, you'll still be trained and ready. But I needed people who were ready. That's why I created a, a training program. So does that help? But the majority of what I'm looking for here is representatives to say you're my certified color wellness nurse. And again, I'm making this where you can share your brands as well. So it's not just all about us, but the bigger piece is bringing your community so we can get the word out. Does that answer your question? Sort of, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting there, but that's the bigger piece. Are we supposed to be hearing something? Okay. I was wondering the we same thing. We can't hear it. Yes, yeah, we can't hear it. Hear it. You guys can't hear it. Okay. Oh, now we can hear you. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't play through the video. Let me put the link in the chat for you guys. Hmm. Oh, here it is. So you all can watch it on the break, okay? So let's take a quick break, two minutes. No, five minutes, sorry. Let's see what time we have, because I want to make sure. Oh, we're doing good. We're 614, okay. So five minutes, let's come back and... 620, but I would like for you to watch this video. I just put the link in the chat. Um, and then we'll come back and finish up with our part two, okay? And drop any questions in the chat too. That way, when I come back, we can just get the questions answered and keep going. All right, see you on five.
All right, and we are back. Hey, 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 everyone. Just drop in the chat how you're feeling. I'm trying to keep it moving because I know I'm only happy for two hours. I could talk all day if I could, but I can't. Uh, so thank you all for joining. This is so, so good, y'all. So, so good. So I have a few questions in the chat. Again, drop how you're feeling and um, any questions. Uh, great question from Monica who mentioned... And I know you all are eager to get to the to the to the end here, so you can see what the offer is. A couple of you all have already asked me privately for the link, so who knows how many seats we have left. But if there is a conflict with your consulting brand, uh, the answer is no, because one part of this is yes, it's training, right? I want to train you all so you're prepared for these opportunities as I get begin to get them in, or as you all begin to share the brand in your communities. That's what this is all about. This is about us coming together to really create this movement. So yes, you'll be sharing the call of wellness, but at the same time, I want you to feel comfortable sharing your brand, sharing your opportunities, especially on your side. So this isn't just all about us is both of us sharing the brand. Uh, I'll just have some things that you'll have to be careful of and that will come with the packet. So I'll tell you what, um, you know, what can be shared, what can be shared or how do we make it, keep it 50-50. But for the most part, for all of the parts, excuse me, I want it to be um, a 50-50 relationship because at the end of the day once I train you the goal is that you all come on as vendors um, so that we can subcontract with you and say hey uh, this opportunity is here can we split this there might be opportunity for affiliate pay which means that we have an event share the links create you know some income that way um but you all get that as a certified media nurse because you've gone through my training. I want to give you those perks. So I hope that answered your question. Yes, you will be able to share your brand. We just have to be mindful of how we do it. Yeah, that's the goal. I mean, even the contributors who, based on the way old way we've been doing it, I have created a new way. But, you know, we share their, their ads. Uh, we share their articles in the morning and their ads in the evening. Uh, we do because it's all about visibility for me. I'm all about sharing you all with the world. So we do an interview with them so they can be on YouTube and share that video and use that video how they like, um, as well as we are restarting our podcast. So that's the audio uh, leg of that. So, so many opportunities. It's just a really, yeah, <laughs> mind blowing thing in my opinion. So, so that's why I've had to kind of divvy it up because it is so much. All right. Well, thank you for the video kudos. Yeah, we had that made. I'm, I'm most proud to, to share that. So we'll have to share that out with the world. All right. Let's keep it going. How do you want to be remembered as a media nurse? Is that a question on, on y'all's sheet? I'm not sure if that was a question or not. I believe it was, but just something to think about now that we're opening your, hopefully your eyes to bigger opportunities. What do you want people to remember about you? That she was the one that taught me this or showed me that or shared this with me or opened my mind to this. Um, that's how I think when I think of how I want to be remembered. So I think Media does that for you. It gives you an opportunity to, to really make, I know we say impact a lot, but really you are changing people's lives <laughs> to me. So I uh, would love to have you write your answers and you don't have to share them unless you want to share them in the chat uh, about your Hi, legacy. Hi, Michelle, I have a comment. I'm not able to write, but I know for me, when I left nursing and, and first got into public health, went to a public health department, my family like no longer thought that I would make any kind of impact as a nurse. And so mm. for me being a media nurse, especially speaking on the things that I consider to be my expertise, it, it would be able to show other people that there is life beyond the bedside. And there are other ways that you can make an impact besides just being clinical. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and we're all supporting healthcare at the end of the day, right? But like Monica said, I think, you know, the, it's, I think nursing is trying <laughs> to break out of that box, 
but it, we've been in the box for so long for some it's hard to see like why are we doing this now or why are we doing that now or is this right or can you do that so yeah I do think it's um it's all connected all right so let's keep moving so here is the second and if you if you look at your sheet your google sheet um article because I did want to incorporate some evidence in here so I gave you all one at the beginning but this was another article that I pulled down um, it's called back to the future achieving health equity through health informatics and digital health again we saw the numbers right at the beginning of how many people are now they're using internet they're using phone but further I would love for you to dig into this study to see how that we truly open up health equity which is a part of our mission through digital health. Now we won't be doing digital health, meaning telehealth, telemedicine, uh, anything like that, but we can support that. And I do believe again, with this type of platform, we're just supporting that. We're making those options more visible to uh, the communities that we serve. And I will say, you know, of course we know we are targeting uh, communities of colors, color, excuse me, but the communities that do interact and support us, all of them will benefit through learning more, oh, I didn't know that about this app, or I didn't know that my doctor could do that online. A lot of com communities don't know the fullness of that, but they know that they don't wanna see a doctor. They know that they don't have a doctor, they know that, but they didn't know that they, you could do, maybe do some other things. You, do you understand what I'm saying? So um, I thought it was just great read. I encourage you to read it at your leisure. And I think we know, but again, you all want the evidence <laughs> that, this, um, it really, I pulled this piece out. Uh oh, sorry about that. Ah, don't you dare. <laughs> uh, um, that incorporated an app in this, in this particular study. Uh, and they found positive changes, of course, that happened with this, this group's blood pressure, their diet, and their physical activity. Um, and they show you the app that they use in the program that they ran. So we're there to, to, to magnify that, right? I may have to give you all this link too. I don't know why. Okay. Nope, we did that one already. All right, so I'm introducing our my new framework, which I have tested over the past two years. It's been in beta, right? So it's called this, the Wavy Framework. And this is what we'll be utilizing inside of our training um, platform. So for those of you all who decide to come on and pursue the certification, I'll be teaching you the Wavy Framework. So hopefully this will get into Lakel's question about, you know, what are we going to be doing? So this is it. I'm going to, over the next year, teach you and dig into all these pieces of the media so that when we get the call, when we get the ask, we are ready. We're not fumbling. We have our LLCs in place. You've been already trained on how to write properly, how to conduct an um, audio interview, how to present yourself on any type of video, whether that be TV or maybe a different type. Um, of course, internet, which we're going to talk about, meaning digital, and then events, which is to be the biggest piece of what you all be charged to do. So writing, just a few things here. Some, let me know if I'm going too fast. I feel like I'm talking fast. We have about 30 minutes, so I want to be, make sure we get it all in. So basically what I have written right now, I still write freelance for, like I said, GoodRx. You probably have seen me on entrepreneur.com. Uh, you've seen me on CEO World, which I really wanted to bring in the female executive and her wellness. I love writing for them because they really absorb it. Like, again, they don't see it. <laughs> like, wow, you really opened my eyes about leaders not taking care of themselves. So I talk about that a lot on those executive type platforms because I feel like executives uh, sometimes don't get poured into enough. And so uh, the, for a while, they were my target market. Now we're kind of moving to a bigger community platform, but um, that might be where you've seen me. So I say all that to say is that there's so many opportunities to write. Some of them are free, which is this dollar sign here uh, that may or may not pay you. Now there are definitely opportunities to write for pay. Uh, if you are a good writer, if you can show that you have written um, 
articles. And if you can show the links and share your portfolio, they're going to ask you for that if they're going to pay you for it. So in order to get to that point, you have to have some written, right? You have to have some proof, which is why I'm here is to help you formulate those um, those articles so that you can move up to being paid, but it doesn't happen just right out the gate. I have had to submit, most times three links is what they asked me for, uh, for the paid opportunities. Any of y'all wanna guess how much I get paid to write one article for, uh, I won't say the company, <laughs> but just say a, 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 you know, a, a healthcare company, we know they have a good budget. And this is just to show the opportunities out there. A healthcare company with a good budget. One article, uh, usually it's between 700 to 1,000 words. And I just write one a month because it's just spending money. <laughs> Oh, wow. 5,000. Who said that? I want that company. <laughs> I'm not there yet. So, uh, 1,000, 5,000. No, Monica, I wish I wouldn't even be doing this. I'd just be writing every day. 1,500. So, 1,000. So, but I mean, it's like a dollar a word. So, I'm just wanting to show you that the opportunities are out there, but also to let you know that you do have to understand how to write, how you do have to understand what they're looking for. And then you do have to prove, you know, and show them your work. So that's what this is about. And that's what I'm going to, yes, Emily asked the question, why are we doing that? I'm gonna show you how to write for free so you can build a portfolio and then get paid for it with, with the companies that do pay because they don't all pay, but some do. Um, and if you don't come into the program, just know that all you have to do is look for the editor of, uh, the publication that you want to pitch to, write up a brief summary about your, um, and so this is what, so you can leave with something if you're not coming with us. Uh, let them know what you want to write about, your expertise, and why this is, again, all they want to know is how is this going to benefit the consumer? They don't want it to be about you, your business, they don't care nothing about that. What is this going to do to help my reader? And that's what you have to keep in mind. Who's reading your article and what are they going to leave with? If you can do that, then boom, you're in. Okay. <laughs> it's right every day. Right, Sherry? Isn't that funny? So audio. So you all might have heard me and my biggest win has been on Sirius XM where I was on the Lee Hutt show. He's an attorney, uh, I think up in the Baltimore area, uh, Emily. I mean, not Emily, but uh, Ebony and LaCal are both in Baltimore area. So basically, um, let's talk about this and I'll tell you how I got on that show but also I've been on numerous podcasts, numerous um, female entrepreneur or female leader type podcasts. Um, but basically it's a, to me, podcast is hot right now. It has been for a few years. We're excited to launch our podcast again. So those of you all who decide to come through the Certified Media Nurse um, program, we'll have an opportunity to sit with our podcast team because we already have those people in place, but it'll be a good way for you to get interviewed and put some, um, some um, social proof out there for you. So again, everything we're doing, I'm helping you do as well while we also are preparing to pivot and share the color of wellness on a different level. Does that make sense? We're doing it for you, but then we're also gonna take those skills and help uh, our movement move forward. Oh, you're welcome. All right, have thorough knowledge of your target markets. So again, this is if you are not coming with us, <laughs> know your markets. I think that's the biggest piece. Some people just want to pitch to any podcast. Uh, and so that doesn't really, it really doesn't benefit you. It doesn't benefit their audience. Uh, it doesn't benefit them. So make sure you research the podcast that you looked into who, the, who their listeners are. I think that's so important. Because again, just like with writing, it's all about what is that listener going to leave with uh, after your interview. Again, you can pitch yourself. This is nothing new. Same thing. Uh, they are uh, legion. I'm gonna say lead generators. I don't know if I've used Fiverr for this service, but I'm pretty sure they're in any type of freelance or gig um, websites such as uh, Fiverr or Upwork, and look for a lead generator that can pitch you to 
podcast if this is something you want to do. So that's something you can do on your own as well. Again, I'll be um, helping you do that in this program, as well as, again, mentioning going to our uh, podcast team, getting an interview with them. And then we're also going to turn it into video. What's well, going to be video would turn into audio. So you'll be on YouTube as well. So you'll get all of that through our brand. And then also what I like, I put down at the bottom, you can create your own audio packages for those of you all who have those great, soft, relaxing voices. I think it's a good way to make some side money is you can do like affirmation packages and sell those audio um, recordings for people. Because right now people want relaxation. They want to feel good. There's so much stress out here. So Think about that as you create your brand and build your brand out. Uh, we're having after certification, we're having to consider any refresher courses. I'm not sure what that means, but we're getting to uh, in just a moment, Emily. We're get we're almost there. I'm trying to get to you what we're teaching you, and then um, if you want to come into the program, you can. I think there are five C's left. But what I was going to say with audio, um, I'll give this to our students. There is a, I have a partner that pitches um, radio. So I was able to get on NPR. Um, I was able to do the Lou Hutt show on Sirius XM. He was wonderful. Uh, and so with that um, opportunity, with this opportunity that you have with me, I'll connect you to my radio person and you can be pitched on radio. Again, same thing. You have to be, you know, bring that thought leadership. You have to be ready. You have to know what you're going to talk about. Why do they want to book you? What are you going to talk about? What are the listeners going to leave with? That's what they want to know at the end of the day. So again, it's not for so, so long we're taught, you know, to pitch and share about our business, but now we're putting the, the knowledge before the business and the business comes after. Video. So we'll be moving. I uh, haven't had a chance to really dig into my YouTube. I will. <laughs> we will. Uh, but it's definitely, um, I love YouTube. I'll just put it that way. I think it's needed. Of course, we know video rocks. That's the most trusted way to market yourselves. We talked about marketing earlier. So you do have to step your video game up. If people can't see you, hear you. Um, and a lot of times right now, if y'all haven't noticed, it's the short form video. We used to go live. I mean, a lot of you have probably seen me go live for 45 minutes, 20, then I cut it down to 20 minutes. And now I don't even do a lot of lives anymore. I'm moving towards what you just saw, like little three minute, two minute, one minute video, because people's attention spans, you know, we're busy. We don't have time to sit and watch even 10 minutes anymore. It used to be that you could do a 10 minute video and that was considered long, <laughs> but the, the, the numbers just don't support that anymore. Usually the first three seconds, you have to capture someone's attention. So that's that startling statistic. That's why I opened up with that 72% of people are on their phones. They're wanting to learn about their health through the internet. <laughs> so right off the bat, giving that statistic, giving that information. So it makes them stay and say, wow, tell me more about that, right? So video is the way, be short, be really precise. There is even um, um, a, this goes into writing, which we're gonna talk about next. So I'll just talk about that in a minute. But my point is everything is getting shorter, precise, brevity, that's what's ruling media right now. So yeah, I think that's a nugget all in itself. <laughs> and I'll pay for that nugget, let me just say that. <laughs> but can you speak clearly and directly? They don't want long-winded, timed-out answers. It's precise, it's to the point, and just dropping information. And again, we already talked about this. Is your schedule flexible enough to take um, interviews? So if we should get an interview, again, like I mentioned at the beginning, when I created this program, it wasn't about TV. And that's why I wanted you all to see there's so many types of media out here. Yes, we're going to learn writing. Yes, we're going to learn how to speak for audio and video and how to speak at your own event in your community. But there might be opportunities to, to be featured on a TV spot. And if that's the case, are you ready? Same questions you're asking yourself. 
What's my message? What makes me the authority? Am I ready? And am I flexible enough to take this interview at any time when they're ready? Because that's how media works. It's not a long, oh, in two weeks, we're going to call you. No, it's usually day of or day before, maybe a couple days that we need you ready and you have to be ready. And so the beauty of our program is that we're going to be practicing that with each other. I want you, because practice is all, is everything. You're going to need that practice and the feedback. All right, so digital. So a part of our framework is the I, really AKA digital is what I wanted to say, but you know, when I said wavy, it sounds better with the I. Um, but basically I want you to get comfortable digitally. This is all about digital wellness. This is all about where we're headed. I mean, I'm moving in, like I mentioned earlier, I haven't told you all the other, there's so many layers to this, but we got to get ready for an app. We got to get ready for the metaverse, y'all. Can you drop metaverse in chat, please? <laughs> I need to see metaverse in the chat. I see one person, there's a doctor on, um, I think she's on my Facebook and LinkedIn. Have y'all seen her? She's the only person I've seen that marketing healthcare in the metaverse. Um, the only person I've seen so far but it's coming. <laughs> yes, I love it. All right, so we are moving to this digital world. And again, we have to move with it. And I think it's coming, but it's not a mass adoption yet. So we have time. But are you familiar with right now, social media and all these platforms that we talk on and have mentioned and where we'll be at is really this internet media. So someone sent me internet rules <laughs> earlier. That's where we're going to play. So we're not doing a whole lot in mass media, radio, TV. We'll be prepared for that. But this is where I need you all to be ready to play for, for us. We, we can play together um, for your brain and ours um, digitally because that's where the people are. So what you find is interesting. You got to be comfortable with that. I've had people say, I don't like tech. I don't want to deal with it. Da, da, da. So it may not be a good fit for you. Are you willing to share digital information for the sake of the bigger mission? I want us all to be sharing all of our information across all platforms. So we might have a team for each platform. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But I do believe if we work together and put our information together, we can definitely get a bigger reach. I used to say yes. And she does cybersecurity. So I know we're going to need you. Oh, so ready to hear with you, your presentation. So the community needs you. And so your next question, I think we might, have, I've gotten so excited. I don't know if I've skipped over questions, uh, but I know this one is on there. How would you support your community with health education? So if you followed us, you've seen the magazine. These are a couple of the covers. I had struggled with, am I keeping the covers? Am I not? And so this is actually gonna be changing. Uh, I used to take 12 new contributors every year. They paid a small fee for advertising. And so we totally have changed that where now you all still, there'll be, okay, let's start with the covers. There'll still be covers. It's just gonna be eight covers because I'll be doing four of the covers. I'm gonna introduce each quarter. So I'll be doing, you know, uh, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, just because of the initiatives that we're gonna be running. So it's just a great way to introduce our initiatives. So that is new. That's why we don't need 12 this time, we need eight. And I believe three seats are sold. So who, what comes with your package is the opportunity to be on the cover of the magazine as well. That was the point of all that. So this is just an uh, example of the quality of our work and what we do. Um, I'm just so thrilled to have these ladies support the mission. They've been wonderful to work with and continue to work with us. So you'll see more of them uh, next year as well, just in a different capacity. A lot of them are moving. To me, I feel like I'm graduating and promoting those who have already been contributors. Um, I know Yvette is here and Wendy's here. Do you all want to come off the mute real quick and just talk about your experience uh, of being a color wellness contributor? Hey, Michelle, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. Hi, everyone. It's such a joy to be here and welcome to the Media Nurse Boot Camp. My name is Yvette Palameki. I am a
All right, can you hear me? Yes, I was trying to put you on as the speaker. Oh, okay. I got you. Got it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Where do we leave off? Because I think I, I think my Zoom got uh, kicked me out for a second and I had to get back in. You just said your name. Okay. So I have been an executive contributor for <laughs> the Color of Wellness magazine this whole year. And it has been truly a joy to work with Michelle. Um, I've been working with Michelle for almost two years now. Mm -hmm. Since, yeah, since 2020, uh, my brand is Frontline Life Media, LLC. I have had multiple features on print, video, TV. I've even been featured in a documentary film. So I've pretty much had a taste of all of the media. <laughs> Um, and thanks to Michelle for that. Um, it's, it's an amazing journey. I never thought that I would find myself in the media space, but the more I do it, the more I absolutely love it. And I think Michelle's a genius for even opening up the possibility of creating such a space and allowing us to take that ride with her and definitely um, the work and the fruits of all of this is really showing up. So I'm happy to join you on this journey because I'm super excited. <laughs> so excited to have you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a, it's been a ride, but definitely this pandemic has been, um, I think put it at one point, you know, I think we've heard this has been a, a curse and a blessing, but Yvette wanted to have her brand ready because she wanted to do her travel nursing. But when I finish, I want to have this ready to, to rock. So I really just kind of helped her build it up behind the scenes. But who knew, like every time she'd have a free moment, there was an opportunity for her. Well, this person wants to have a travel nurse talk about this or that, or here's a TV opportunity, even CNN and Espanol, right? Yes. CNN, uh, I've been on a Shepherd, uh, Shepherd Smith show on CNBC. Uh, I recently, uh, two weeks ago, just uh, recorded a paid podcast with Calibri Healthcare. Uh, next week, I am actually going to be on an interview with um, Fox 45 Baltimore, discussing tips to uh, decrease stress. And that, that was actually... Um, that's a rare because news stations, TV stations never give you more than a week, more than 48 hour notice actually. So that was, that was a rare. So I got a pretty good uh, heads up. So I have time to prepare, but generally uh, when it comes to TV, it's very, very short turnaround notice. And I've actually been at a point where I've had to turn down interviews on television because Reporters want it now, now, now. And if I'm at the bedside, I'm not going to leave my patients to go sit in an interview. And so I've I've lost a bit of opportunity, but you know, um, my patients always came first, and whoever was willing to wait until after work. I've interviewed like eight o'clock at night. I've interviewed at midnight. I've interviewed at six a.m. I've had people from Wall Street Journal follow me from the hospital to my house, taking video as I ate breakfast, as I picked up my clothes for the night. I mean, it was. <laughs> wow. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a stalker way though, right? They were recording. No, no, no. <laughs> no they, they were recording a story. So yes. they had a photographer come out all the way down in South Texas where I was stationed at the time. And they followed me out of the hospital and, and the whole nine to check the routine because they were doing a um a story on travel nurses so yeah that's wow <laughs> so well definitely. kudos to you i i'd say you know you i know you feel like oh michelle i need to do more or i should have been further along but i'm telling you you've done more and you've still been working than a lot of you know my students who just can't make the time so i just say kudos to you because you did it you did all the travel nursing and you still rocked out your media brand Thank you. Thank you. It, it certainly helps because I had your support 100% of the time. And, and I promise you, even when I felt like I didn't show up for myself, you showed up for me. And it certainly, it made the difference. It made the difference. And this is why I'm rocking with you no matter where you go. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. <sighs> All right, Wendy. Yes, hi everyone. My name is Wendy Garvin Mayo. Um, I'm a nurse practitioner. I am the owner of the Stress Blueprint, and I have also been an executive contributor for the Color of Wellness for this year. And it has been an amazing experience. Michelle is a true trailblazer. I remember for seeing your first post, Michelle, about the color of wellness, and I didn't know too much about it, but I said, I'm with you. I'm supporting you any way I can. That was last year. I took out ads, anything I could do, and then I yes. had the pleasure of really joining the movement um, You know, this year. I have been in media, print media. I've been on TV, um, but the color of wellness is something special, something yes. unique, um, because it's about us, for us for our patients, for our community. So despite being on the Today Show, Roland Martin, Black News Channel, nothing beats what we're doing here. And I'm just so happy that you are taking it and amplifying it and up-leveling it and um, just going national, but I see it international, global. It's going to be a global movement because just because of who you are, and how you do things and the people that are with you, it's going to go far. So this is a rare opportunity to have impact. And I would say leave your footprint on this world. So I am just honored to be an executive contributor. And just like um, Yvette said, anywhere this brand goes, I'm behind it. Somewhere. If I'm not in the front, I'm in the back, but I'll be there because I believe in it that much. So Michelle, I just want to thank you so much for your innovation and being a trailblazer um, in the media as a nurse and just as a person. So it's been an amazing experience. So if you're thinking about it, I don't know what you're thinking about, but um, this is where you want to be if you really want to have impact in the world. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't ready, y'all. So and yeah, literally when she says day one, she means day one. <laughs> Wendy was there when the doors opened, and I think even maybe before, because people were like, can we invest? And like, I've had people wanted to invest, and I don't want to give away any equity yet. I'm like, I got to get it a little further. I got to do a little bit more research. So who knows when we will go public? I see that in the future. I definitely see the uh, global in the future. And again, I was struggling with this just a few months ago. Like, Lord, am I really... Because it's it has been so expensive. That's why you know I mentioned the cost, but then I just was uh, given this new business model. So we've changed it from that subscription and that heavy printing and paper. We've had paper issues. We have supply chain issues. I was like, this is not how I work. How I work. Um, but who knew that a whole <laughs> another you know um, model would be here and and is ready to be embraced. So. Um, I just say thank you, Wendy, for believing and trusting in me and just giving me time and space because I know it also has been an evolving thing. It's taken me time to really dig and, and look and research and find the data I needed to make the right decisions. So I appreciate you for that. Whew. All right. Well, thank you all. Let's see if we can wrap up. Any questions? Let me see what we got left here. I did put the link in the chat if you're wanting to look because I keep getting private messages. What's the link? What's the link? So it's there if you do want to look at what the whole program looks like um, as we wrap up. But let me go back to our presentation. So yeah, I look forward to seeing eight of y'all. The 2023 cover, honey, cover girls. <laughs> no one else is putting black nurses on covers of magazines. Let me just say that. I wanted to be the first. Like, who's giving us space? Who's talking to us? Nobody. Talk. We support our national organizations. God love them. And I do too. But we just don't get this opportunity. We had to make our own lane. Like, I don't see it. Um, and this is, again, the non-scholarly type of publication. So I get it. There are because people say, oh, you have national black nurse like well yeah there's this is just a different approach this is a a very boots on the ground type of feel where I want the people in the community I want brands to see real people and now we're attracting those brands and they want to talk to black women they want to talk to black nurses and I even struggle with that do we keep that as a part of our our logo and hashtag and it, my mentor said hey 
that's why they're coming to you. They need you. They there's a disconnect. And they want to get this information to Black women or Black families, but they aren't being heard because there's that trust issue. So we fill that gap because it's like now trusted piece, there's a trusted face, there's a trusted profession in the gap here. And now we carry those messages into our communities. And then now we see, oh, now we hear you. Now I'll get a mammogram. So this is the impact that we're having. It's so powerful, y'all. All right. So yeah, I hope you join us, Ava. I would love to have you. Yeah, because we need to go to Jamaica. Jamaica gonna be the first spot. <laughs> I already got people in Africa ready. I'm like, y'all, you just need me give me time because I have to make sure before I move like that that it is set up properly and I'm abiding by all rules so I don't move too quickly. All right, so I want y'all to do just a quick two minute breakout just to get any last thoughts out, any feelings, any whatever. I think would be good just to network. Um, but this is a good interactive piece. Then we're gonna come back and wrap up. Oh, wow, it's seven o'clock, y'all. Do we have time to do this? Do y'all wanna do it or no? I always love them, but some people don't like them. Let's go to the program. <laughs> That's what I say. Just keep to the program. All right. All right. So I've given y'all the framework. We know that we're going to be using this to learn um, what we have to do to get in the place and get in position and get ready for media opportunities, as well as our own media brand, because this is not just about pitching to other platforms. We have our own platform here that is ready and willing and able to be seen. So the vision is what's missing. Um, I bring that to the table and I'm willing to share that with you if you're willing to share some time and space with me. So the opportunity is here to become a color wellness certified media nurse. I would love to uh, share this with you. I know we're pressed for time. Normally I would ask for permission to share it with you. Um, hopefully you can stay and listen but we'll be waving our way into the limelight. Waving is my acronym for the framework that I created to learn the inner workings of each part of the framework. We already just learned about those. Um, excuse me. We talked about the writing, the audio, the video, digital, AKA internet, and where we're gonna thrive in the internet <laughs> and um, event space, which I'll be sharing all of that with you. I'm going to be looking for nurses to be assigned to de designated geographic boundaries for our national events. So basically, I'm going to teach you all about events and community events. We can, you know, pitch you to your local station to share that event. But I want you to own that that area. So if we have a Southwest team, if we have a Northwest team, we have a Southeast team then we know who covers each designation. So for now, this first year, I'm only taking in eight because again, I have eight covers that you'll be featured on. So those covers of the magazine. Um, and then I'll do the ones in between just to get the momentum started for the quarter and to share because our goal is that those communities are ready. So if I say, hey, we are headed to Houston, I need everybody in Houston to get ready. This is the you know the magazine to prepare us for Houston. Then we need every all hands on deck and prepare for Houston. So that's the how we're going to drive the momentum. And, and whoever is over that area will work out what that looks like monetarily because it's going to be a revenue share. And that's the third piece. I put a revenue share model inside of this where again you can either do affiliate and that will come with events or so earning a piece of the pie via commission, but also you're a prioritized vendor, you're you know, one of the sponsors and have of course a table, like all the things I wanna make sure you get visible as well. And if we can come together and you help bring in sponsors then that's gonna be a bigger piece of the pie. So we'll share that as well. Are there any nurse CE hours for any part of the training? So for the training, no. Only because one of the rules is that I can't give out CEs for things that are teaching nurses how to make money or how to be entrepreneurs, right? So I can't do it that way. But what I can do, like I mentioned earlier, 
say, for instance, you want to host as part of one of your community events, you want to host a, um, a, CE, a CE program over the weekend, say a CE luncheon. Um, I am a CE provider, so I will let you, if you have your BSN or higher, you can host that event. Um, and then you earn money from that event. I only talk, I'll take a small amount. I think I do 10% just because of the administrative work. I have to store and record all the people who attend. So 90% of that event is yours. So you sell tickets. So you make money that way through CEs, but specifically you earning CEs through this program. Unfortunately, I can't because it is a more of a personal development. It is also about you gaining financially and um, that's not allowed for CEs. I will, however, um, I might have a reviewer look at maybe a piece of this. I might create something around communication, meaning I'll pull something from it and reduce it down to like a communications type course that I could do. Um, but specifically what I'm gonna teach you, like how to prepare, um, for a TV interview, you know, I just can't do it for that. Okay, yeah, good question. All right, so I put the link in the chat, I'll put it in there again, but these are just a few of the benefits. I try to stack it as much as I can into the package that you're paying for. It is a year program, but I'm gonna be building out medianurse.com, medianurses.com, excuse me, so that you'll be featured there where, again, as we share this brand and people are looking for nurses who can speak in the media, I want us to be the go-to. Um, if you are wanting to be that CE trainer, again, BSN or higher, you can do events in your local community and earn money. Also, the core of this is being a health educator. So we want you to be able to speak in your communities on different health topics or just have a small community event just to again it's about brand awareness letting them know the color of wellness is there it's a resource we're available and then that gets more eyes on you as the person who's doing the event you know so it's a win-win for both of us um, your geographic area which will be um, delineated to you if you're you know coming to the program is up to 200 miles so i think that gives you a good broad reach in that way you know it's yours you can work that area and just really rock it out and monetize it again we've talked about events that's the biggest piece of this you will be cross-trained on all the other areas uh, again because we'll have nurses doing all sorts of projects so there will be the need to fill in sometimes but the majority of the call for you all is that I need a events team. I need teams who can go out and do things to help spread the word and get the brand awareness out there. Uh, again, you'll be featured on the cover. You saw the covers. So eight of you all who come on board will have your own cover, <laughs> which is amazing. And then also our I always give gear, Ebony knows this, I can't get away from the merch, but that's our logo, I love it. So I have a, um, a sweater I'm waiting to, to, to come in. As soon as it comes in, I'll show it to you all so you'll see what it looks like. But it's embroidered and it will have this on here so we can wear these when we go out and do events. And then I always do an annual retreat. I've been doing those for five years, so that's nothing new. Now we have had some hiccups because of COVID the past two years, so it's been, Last year was no event. <laughs> then the year before that, we did do a small Airbnb mansion, a big one, but it was only 20 people. Uh, but we are looking to do one in uh, May. So just stay tuned for that. I know I'm going fast. So I just want to make sure you get everything you need. We do begin classes on the 12th. Um, so I want you to go ahead and grab your seat. I'll be sending out a uh, congratulation letter to those who come on board tonight. And then we also have an app, Ebony, I believe you have the link. You can invite them to our private group on the band app so that we can get started chatting with each other and getting to know each other over there. Um, so we'll be meeting every other Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon. So this is twice a month for a whole year. So from November to November, because I like to have December's off, y'all. 
<laughs> so just kind of plan that. The second and the fourth Saturday is what I have tentatively. And if we have to move around any days because of travel or anything like that, we will. But for the most part, they're the second and fourth Saturdays. Um, I need to get you all started because your first article for the magazine will be live for 2023 on the website in January. So we're gonna be working on our first article starting next month. So, so, so excited. All right, let me know if you all have any questions. I feel like we are, we are moving. Thank you all so much. I'll leave, actually I'm gonna just leave you the link cause I know this, this audio for some reason doesn't play through here. But if you want to see the type of impact, I had an impact video made. So you can watch this at your leisure. Hi, Michelle, I have a question. Um, yes, ma'am. For individuals that join this program, is that the only way to become a contributor in the Color of Wellness magazine and to partner with your organization? Actually, no. So that's a good question. Um, I'm pretty much full, but I'm okay with if, if I have a couple of people who want to be... Um, it's a paid contributor. It's ninety nine dollars, but that's that's it. It's just a contributor to get your your article in there. So yeah, we will have those. Although, like I said, we have a pretty good we have a pretty good amount on our writing team already. Okay. And it's cool. And the reason I said that way is because it's cool. So if I put out on a Monday, uh, we'd like an article on these two topics. You know, it's pretty much first come first so. So I don't know how fast they will go when we do put it in the pool. But we do have a all of the ladies who are finishing up from this year, most of, about half of them want to keep writing. So they're gonna be in that paid pool. And then I had two people just like you that like may not want to join, but they want to be a part, they want to write. And so we'll be training them as well on writing only. They're gonna be in the pool as well. So there'll probably be about seven in the pool. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So do you want me to send you information on that? Yeah, you can, yeah, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions, y'all? I have a question, Michelle, it's Emily. Mm -hmm. So um, the I, I went through your uh, the link the bit a wide link, um, and the the amount that I saw that is per month correct for twelve months. Correct. Okay. Yeah, because we're packing tons of information here for you and go and get preparing you for our, with skills that you can use for a while. <laughs> I was gonna say a lifetime, but you might not want to do this a lifetime. So that's how our embroidered uh, look. I wanted to pull that so you can see how it looks on the sweater. So excited. And then if you want, I wanted to go over and just walk through the offering page with you. Where did that? Yeah, just a moment. But let me say thank you, first of all, <laughs> uh, media nurse, sir, for your time, because I know we are um, over time. So I do thank you for your time. I want to also say, let me make sure I get this in, because we didn't even talk about that, that there is financing available. Um, there is financing available if this price is a concern for you and you want to know how to get financed, I do have um, a partner who is ready, actually from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. I asked him to be ready to just take calls. So if you want to speak with him about funding, so your, um, get your money together so you can come on into the program, just let me know. You can either you know message me in the chat. I will get you a time with him tonight so you all can chat and he can get you going. Oh, so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You got my calendar link. Any questions, y'all?
I'll ask one more question. I'll answer, but um, there, it's 12 months. It's not accelerated. It's not pick and choose what you need help with. Everybody goes through the same content regardless of where they are. Correct. Correct. Only because we're doing our signature method with you. There are things that I'm bringing and bringing partners, all sorts of opportunities. So I do want to make sure everyone has the same training, especially if you're going to be out in your community, you know, with the with the brand that I know, hey, I know she's got it. She's going to like deliver it in this manner and we're good to go. So that's why we're taking everyone through the same training. So I know everybody's ready to rock and you're able to to do what you need to do in your community. Does that help? Yeah, it makes sense, yeah. Yeah, so that's what the certification is about. You will even have a small test. It just won't be huge, but it will be enough to make sure all of you feel comfortable and confident as you carry out the mission um, and be able to do that with the, all of the branding and information. So. Yeah, I'm excited. It's um, I've tried to really set it up where it was a win-win for all of us. And we just really um, make this movement happen together for all of us. So let me grab the Calendly link. I have so much up on my Facebook. <laughs> I thought you put in my Facebook link. Oh, I'm gonna... uh, okay, so I'll get it in just a second. You're welcome. You're welcome, Kina. I'm going to get the financing link and put it in the chat for y'all in just a second. So I was just walking through the sales page in case you all have any questions, but the biggest piece is what you're paying for. So that's the 12 months of training. Did you all see that? This is the core of it all. This is why it's so important because I want to make sure you get what you need. And so we're starting right off with your personal brand. I want to know what you want to take away from this as well so that you can share. But how does that look? How do you do it? We're starting right off the bat with your brand. Um, also, though, that second, the first class is going to be about your brand. But that second class, we do have to get the writing in just because of the time factor of getting your articles ready for January. And then we'll jump into back into the content. So we're kind of going to go off and just get a little bit of writing in so that we can get at least one article done. And I think it'll give you a quick win as well. It's a way to say, hey, I did it. Here's my new article. You can show it uh, and sh share it with your social media. You can share it with your brand or your website, your blog, LinkedIn. There's so many things. I'll show you all how to repurpose things. I repurpose content 10 different ways, y'all. You can take one piece of content and use it 10 different ways. Did y'all know that? Oh, thank you, Anne. I appreciate that. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So I won't go off on that tangent, but I just thought I'd share that with you as to what you can do with that article. All right, so. Let me grab the Calendly link. So just a moment, y'all. I got to take off my share so I can give the financing link for those of you all who asked for financing. Let me grab it. And are there spots on there for tonight? Um, it's just open because I don't usually got on any business on Sundays. But if somebody, somebody want to, if they want to talk tonight, they just give me their number. I, I didn't open up the calendar for Sundays. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Lakeisha. I appreciate it. This has been so great. I love the interaction. All right, so I put the link in the chat. Um, do they leave their phone number on you? Is it phone number? Yeah, it's enough where they can like leave their contact okay. information. 
All right, so there's a phone number area in there. Just, um, you can choose one of the ones for tomorrow, but I would prefer if y'all could chat tonight just so we can get y'all in because I do have some fast action bonuses. So those who come on tonight, did we talk about that? Let me grab those. No, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna hear those. You might win me in now. <laughs> We got to miss something to the action takers. Hold on a second. Let me just take a look because I want to make sure for those who, if they got their seats, they get it too. They're not so busy talking. All right, so welcome, Sharetta. I see your payment. So I'll make sure you get this. So I'll give it back to you. So yes, if you use the word media, <laughs> so I will refund this back to you, Sharetta. Use the word media at checkout. Let me type it in. And it will take off, I believe it's 20% tonight until tomorrow night at midnight, which is 11.59 p.m. Eastern. Um, it'll shut down. But if you use the word media tonight, I think it goes down to like 750 or something. Let me check it out. bit.ly forward slash media nurse. And when you check out, type in the word media. Now, for those of you all who are getting financing, I know there's a process for that. So again, if you talk to him tonight, you all do your application for financing tonight, I'll still grant you the discount, okay? So I don't want you to feel like, oh, I missed it because I didn't check out. I want you to know that you still will get it. I just need you to at least have um, apply with Albert tonight so that you can get on the books. Media nurse cert. I want to make sure I'm giving you the right number. I set this up a couple of weeks ago, so I want to make sure I know. Yeah, so there's a coupon code there, media. Okay, so it took off 20%, so it's $7.99 tonight. Any questions? Welcome, Mikkel. Y'all taking up these seats. Like I said, there were two that already took up seats. So how many would that be left? Aisha has hers, Monica. Now we got Sharetta, Mikkel. So it's either three or four left. I got to count. To save 20%. Kina is getting financing. Yeah, go ahead and just grab a link, Kina, and he's going to call you tonight because he didn't have Sunday open on his calendar, but I want to make sure whoever comes in can get the discount. At least just talk to him tonight, get your application going, and I'll still um, take 20% off of your cost for the first month. I'm so excited. So yeah, I was thinking about usually I could give a book away and give a t-shirt. I was like, people want to save money right now. So uh, let me just take some money off this. I'll <laughs> buy a t-shirt out. A lot of y'all got my books already. So like that ain't it. So hopefully you'll take the. So the Michelle, I do have a question. Do you foresee um, any additional costs um, that we might have up front or? I guess like when we host the events in our areas, do you, do you see foresee any additional calls? Hmm. Let me think, let me think. Because the most of this is just straight training and visibility. Um, 
the events we won't even train until to the end of next year and then you get a whole year of using the brand so that 2024 you just are a certified media nurse and this renews annually um so we have some time i guess to figure it out so initially to answer your question no i don't see anything else because right now we're so focused on training i just want to get you all trained and you know if there is a way to make money then we're going to definitely do that so if you say, Michelle, I want to hold something, then let's do it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's important for y'all to get a win of closest, as close as possible to the beginning of the year, just so we can get the momentum going. So that's a great question. Any other questions, ladies? I don't want to hold you. We have financing, we have a code for you to use for the next, what, 24, about 28 hours, I guess. Is it eight o'clock? Yeah. Um, your tribe, looking forward to seeing y'all in our new chat. Yes, you're welcome, Eb. Thank you for all that you do to team, lead the team. Ebony will be y'all's concierge slash team leader. She has been with me since day one as well. We've done all the training, all the things. She rocks with the brand as well. I know she didn't get a chance to, to talk, um, but I just appreciate you, Ebony, for all that you do to support you know everything that we do. And she's just wonderful too. So you will have a person right by your side as you go through this as well we don't just leave you hanging ebony has always been my accountability person so any of my graduates can tell you she's been there for them all right go on once corn twice thank you kina i appreciate that so I'll be giving you all a welcome, um, doing a send you a graphic as well for all of you all who came on in. And that way you can share it with your followers that announces you as um, a media nurse in training. And I'm so excited for y'all. So yeah, I'm just overjoyed. <laughs> Any last questions, y'all? I don't wanna keep you, but I'm here. Jacqueline, Denise, Ava, I really would love to have y'all come on board. Ashanti, you know, she already knows. She was one of our guests on our panel for Heart Health Month. Um, I appreciate you, Ashanti, for sharing your story. We'd love to work with you and get you ready to do more of that. Um, bigger stages, as well as you, Lottie. I already know you beyond ready, able <laughs> to do this, uh, but why not get you seen nationally? you know, why not be seen in a bigger way? And I know you're already doing community events, so that's no worries. Yeah, so. Sharetta's already in there. Emily looked like she's making up her mind. So what you thinking about? Well, yeah, I, I, I've been doing this since 2009, right? And um, I guess I probably need to speak with you afterwards because I don't want to. Um, uh, yeah, this I probably need to speak with you. This is the time because I won't, oh. I'll be shutting it down tonight. But, okay. you know, if you have any questions, I want to make sure we answer them for you. But I okay. get it. You know, if you've been doing it on and you have, you're where you want to be in media, then. Well, here's the thing. Um, you know, I've been back and forth, corporate, you know, and then back to doing this part time. And so now I'm ready. I'm ready to do this full time. You know, I'm on a contract job right now. That's getting ready to end um, in, in about three weeks. So I'm ready to do this. Um, and I'm going to be out in the community this weekend doing what I love doing. So I guess the thing is I, I need to sharpen my skills. And that's where you can help me. Um, and, and so I, I think I want to be able to contrib contribute with you because I already have like opportunities. So um, 
at, at events I've been doing since 2009. So I don't know, maybe if I can help you uh, or come on board with uh, coordinating events down here in the South. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, what are your thoughts? Well, a couple things. So if you, again, if you were you want to be in media, I'm not sure if it's the right program for you, but I will tell you what we are bringing is the bigger, you know, network I have, you know, the the radio network, we have funding network. So if you're needing more money to pour into your business, so you can use that money and repurpose it so you can make more money in your business. We have funding ready. You know, we have, um, I think the bigger piece is that the brand <laughs> itself, mm -hmm. the brand is behind you. The brand is a now a national brand that's going to spotlight you on the cover of a magazine. We're going to put you all over the internet. So it's being able to take the power of the brand, connect with your cohort, and y'all magnify that eight times. So you really are 10 xing yourself. You know what I mean? So yes, you're doing it by yourself right now. But my thought is that we are going to 10x you because you got eight in your pod and you got the color wellness behind you that's going to spotlight you. That's that's the value oh I'm, I'm i'm ready and i want to do it um but what i would like to share i think needs to be a personal thing that i'm okay to share with you but yeah i do want to do it because i'm i mean i've been doing this for nine years i'm <laughs> no more bedside for me <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, like we talked about, why is it now, right? You know, the time is now. And I don't know if we'll keep, like, if we get a good tribe, it may just be our tribe. And then we just begin to do what we need to do. I don't know if we'll do it again. I pray that we have a good eight solid tribes because we're going to be working on getting that each person again, 10 X. So that's going to yeah. be my next focus. It won't be about, because you see some programs that just keep bringing more and more people in. That's not what this is about. I've done that. <laughs> I did it with the first coaching program that I did. So this time, what I want to do is just laser, laser focus in to keep growing. Say you, I don't, where are you in Texas, right? Yes. Yes. You're in Houston? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yvette is in Houston as well. So is Yvette on the call? Yvette? She was the one who came on earlier and talked about. Oh, oh yeah, Yvette uh, Palmer, Palmer, Palmer. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So my point is, you know, if it's, you know, um, us growing that Houston market, because in mm -hmm. some of these cities, I want to have a whole office. I want to have, you know, a whole staff. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? So it's not about going bigger this time. It's about going deeper so that okay. wherever we are, we truly can settle there and just begin to be seen that way in a deeper level and really get connected to the communities because going wide and just opening and doing stuff is not going to get us where we need to be. We need to be the trusted go-to for media nurses. And that's what we're going to be. Yeah. And I can also help you guys with the CDCF because I don't know if your plan is to partner with them, but they, they have partnerships. And I mean, every, I am on a webinar I'm serious about 10 webinars a week. And a lot of these webinars are from partners. These are people that have their own business coming in, talking about mental health, talking about mindfulness, uh, doing um, ergonomics. I mean, we're on this every week. And I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. So you coming in and partnering with um, CDC, CDCF, um, Ask though, it's so many of them out there. And yeah, really it's a lots of opportunities. Mm -hmm. We've been approached, like I mentioned, if you all watch the impact video, I put that in here because we didn't get a chance to watch it. But just the impact, you know, we I'm here in Tampa, but Moffy Cancer Center was our first partner and they simply wanted brand awareness. So it wasn't the events, but it was more so running ads. So now we have the opportunity since we were in the ads. Now we have an opportunity to do more on a bare scale this year is what they're looking at now. They're reevaluating my proposal, but we'll see. So big hospitals like that, we are in Seattle um, Children's Medical Wing. You'll see that on the video in their medical library, excuse me. Um, we are just partnered with American Cancer Society. So now they are running um, ads and they want to sponsor our events. So they're 
it's so much opportunity out here for us to partner with me. But I want to make sure we're strategic with the partners so that you all can get paid as well. Because this isn't just about being seen. Yes, initially it will be that. Remember I said that with the writing, you're going to be seen, but the goal is to get y'all paid. They took them upstairs. Yes, ma'am. You... Yeah, that's you the goal. Him? What did he say? I'm sorry. I didn't hear him. Mm. Oh, you're welcome. He's to, talking to my son. Oh. Okay. Any other questions? Mm. Oh, I do so have awesome. one. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. I was just saying it's so awesome. Let me see who's come in. Um, I had, yeah, we question, have a I had a question about media. You have, or, or you know, this is all virtual, so I guess we have to get our um, own media here to make commercials, things of that nature. Because you're not able to to take care of that for us since you're in a different state. No commercials, or just just me, just media like you like you made the. Um, TV, the, the videos, TV videos, right? So we would have to get our own videographer to make those commercials or whatever commercials we do for our brand. Well, for your brand, yes, that's on you. But the video team for Color Wellness has already been selected, so we're going to have a TV show. Yes, like I mentioned, we're going to be trained, cross trained for video. So when you're ready, and I see that you're ready. Should we have, say, one of those persons on video team, they can't make it. They might have to go out of town. They travel. A lot of them have a lot of things already going. They're very, they're, they're, they're ready in video. So my point is I wanted to cross train you all so that if that opportunity becomes available, you're already in the pool, you're ready. And I can just have you take a, you know, a fill in and do the show. And so that yeah, show, you'll get that show would be, that show would be virtual. Or in yes. person? Okay, virtual. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's a virtual show. Because remember, we said we're dominating the internet. Yeah. So that's where we, we're not really in the mass media market, although I will train you on that so that you're ready. But the goal wasn't TV. It wasn't big radio, although I will partner you with my radio person because some of you, I might want that. So you're ready and you can do that um, for your brand for sure. But when it comes to color wellness, you'll be cross-trained to back up our video team and our audio team and our writing team. So we have pools for each um, team. So would it be yep. safe to say that we are um, online internet media nurses if we're coming in under color of wellness? Wellness of color, excuse me. Wellness of color. <laughs> so would it be safe to say, yeah, internet online virtual media nurses and i wasn't gonna say only because of that commercial that community piece remember i said the bigger piece like 50 percent of what you all truly will be doing is getting out in the community to do events and then us partnering so that you all make money from those events but so that's why i don't want to put just internet because i really want the community to know where to go so some of it it's a, it's a hybrid media approach It really is. Okay, thank you. I'm glad mm -hmm. you clarified that because I was wondering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so, you're so. welcome. Great questions. Keep it coming. Yeah, we can be up here all night. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I say it's so rich. It's so yeah. rich um, because there's so many opportunities, you know, these brands. I even actually have a, a, tomorrow a meeting with Comcast. Mm -hmm. um, because they reached out on Friday. So they want to reach black women. It wasn't really nursing, but I am now saying we help bridge, you know, your brand to black families. I've had to even kind of tweak that what I do because they just want to reach black women or black families. So they are opportunities everywhere and they want to reach black women. So um we're taking this model and duplicating it so that we can just keep doing it over and over and over again. All right. I, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm hate, <laughs> I hate that I didn't even talk to you if you want to say something before you leave, because you were 
you have purchased your seat before I even had the sales page ready. So I just want to say thank you for that. But what made you jump in and just grab your seat before we even launched it? It was long overdue because <laughs> I was supposed to work with you back in 2019. And I said, you know, I'm going to get with Michelle. I'm going to work with her. It's, it's going to happen. I don't know when, but it's going to happen. <laughs> yes. I remember. I remember just right. like Emily. <laughs> I remember y'all like, you know, when we had Nurse Nation, but that's okay. We were just getting started. Um, and I looked and at so, your progress and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's really, really excellent. And I'm, I'm just fortunate that I'm able to work with you this time around. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's a, it just means the world to me because y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Like I am really channeling Oprah and I don't say that word a lot because I know what it means. <laughs> so God forgive me. But that is where my mind is right now. My mind. So when y'all see some things next year, y'all are going to be amazed. And so it's all about that whole brand. And that's a part of what you all going to get. It's just going to trickle down. So all the teams are going to get it. Okay. Yeah. Well, There's some other things. I gotta get ready to go and get some rest. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I wanted to make sure I answer any questions and we had everybody, you know, squared away before we logged off. But I thank y'all for this your time. I'm excited about where we're headed together and what the impact we're gonna make on our community. So <laughs> thank y'all. All right, last call. It is 7.37. Sun has cooked it's some not dinner. Taking my, it's not taking the coupon code for me. Did you put it in small letters? Uh -huh, all underscore. Yeah, all small letters media. I just did it. Excuse me. Oh, it, it's a thank you. You're welcome. Good night, ladies. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Ebony, do you have the link to send them for band so we can start chatting over in band? I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to everybody who came in. So thank you, Denise. Appreciate you. All right, so I'll send everybody, including Ebony, the link, and then we can start chatting over in Band, okay? Which is a new app, but it's a little bit broader, and I love it. So a, a little bit more than what Facebook does. And of course, we have our privacy over there. So see y'all in Band. Y'all have a good night. You too. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank y'all. All right. Good night, everyone. <laughs>